Okay, so question five. I give this matrix, <coughs> and they ask us, how do we know it's diagonalizable using an orthogonal matrix? Oh, that's just because it's, it's symmetric. Last day will be symmetric. So then we need to show that these three things, these three vectors they give us are the eigen, our eigenvectors of A. We need to find eigenvectors are just to verify that the eigenvectors, and that you do by multiplying the matrix by the vector and seeing if you get a multiple of the vector. So let's do that. So, sorry, so 5A was today symmetric. That's why it can be orthogonally diagonalized. And then B is this verify this thing. So the matrix A is one, two, oh, it's one on the diagonal and two on square. Uh, one on the diagonal. 2 elsewhere, and then you multiply it first of all by the first eigenvector, which is minus 1, 1, 0. Minus 1, 1, 0. And you get what you get? <coughs> you get minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. You get minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1. And then you get minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. And that is minus 1 times the original vector. So it's an eigenvector with eigenvalue minus 1. Then we do it for the next. Do it for the next. Eigenvector, which was... Minus 1, minus 1, 2. Minus 1, minus 1, 2. So you do this multiplication, you get minus 1, minus 2, plus 4. So minus 3 plus 4 is 1. Yeah, you get next row you get minus 2, minus 1, so minus 3 plus 4, which is 1. And then next row you get minus 2, minus 2, plus 2, which is minus 2. And that is, again, minus 1 times the original vector. So that is also an eigenvector. And finally, we have 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, the matrix, times by the third eigenvector, which was set to be 1, 1, 1. Okay, so 1, 1, 1. I do this multiplication, you get 5, 5, 5, which is, of course is 5 times the original vector. So these are in all the eigenvectors. And now question C says, are the vectors orthogonal? The vectors we find in B. So to check that, you have to check, find their inner product. So we want to do... All, all, in a product of all the pairs of these. So first of all, let's do, let's name the vectors actually, I'll make things simpler. So let's call this one, uh, what should we call them? Let's call them, let's call this U, let's call this V, and let's call this one. Oop, sorry. Yeah, let's call this U, V, and let's call this one W. Sorry. Okay. So the inner product of U and V is what? Um, oh, these are, that's not U, V, and W. Sorry. That's the eigenvector times U, V, and W. Sorry. U, V, and W are the other actual matrix, the actual original vectors. So I'm saying that. That's U, that's V, and that's W. Okay. <coughs> so the inner <coughs> product of U and V is what? It's 1 minus 1, 1 plus 2, 0. So those two are orthogonal, yes. And the inner product of U and W 
is minus 1 plus 1, which is zero. Yay, those are orthogonal as well. And the inner product of V and W is uh, V and W is minus 1 minus 1 plus 2. Yay, that's also orthogonal. Cool, that means, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, the reason I'm glad is because this means I'm not going to have to orthogonalize them. Okay, so there are orthogonal, oh, we just for so we should say, uh, they're all orthogonal because they all have zero, because um, they all have zero uh, inner product with each other. Okay. Um, D. Write down an orthogonal matrix Q such that Q transpose AQ is a diagonal matrix, and then give D. So this is a orthogonal diagonalizing. So the D will be have the eigenvalues on the diagonal, and then the Q will have columns being the eigenvectors, and Q transpose. Well, that's just Q transpose. So. So. So Q will have either eigenvectors on the in the columns. The eigenvectors were minus one one zero, minus one one zero, um, minus one minus one two, minus one minus one two, and one 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 one. And the D then is the eigenvalues in the same order. They were minus one minus one and five, minus one minus 1, 5, and the other entries being zeros. Okay, uh, next question. Given this, they give us a surface with an equation, two variables, and then we use the between x equals qx to rewrite the standard form with new variables. How's this going to work? So if we need to, first of all, we need to convert this into like a vector equation. So this is using uh, this uh, quadratic form thing. So we're going to have we're going to have what, x transpose times some matrix, which is probably going to be the matrix A, right? Yes, because one 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 in the diagonal gives you the x squared plus y squared plus z squared, and then um, to get the four x y, that's four x y, the four x z, and the four y z. That's all the two terms. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing else, no other terms, no x, no just x, y, z terms, and that equals 10. So that's what the equation gets. That's the first step to write the equation of that. Then we say, like, oh, x equals qx, let x equal qx, and so that makes the equation become q big X transpose a qx equals 10. Then you write that as, do the transposing, x transpose, q transpose a qx equals 10, and then Q transpose AQ is the D, right? So now you have X transpose DX equals 10. And now you can time that out and the things are decoupled and then we have to look at the table. Okay, so let's actually do that. So, so the equation is X. Should I write this? Let me write this. So X squared plus Y squared plus z squared plus 4xy plus 4xz plus 4yz equals 10. Um, and that equation actually is just the same as x transpose times a times x equals 10, where, of course, this x is the vector with x, y, z in it. And A is as it is in the, given in the question. Okay. So now we let we let uh, we let x equal q and our big X, this other variable. It's a vector, of course. And now we get this thing becomes q 
Q X transpose times A times Q X equals 10, which is the same as X times Q transpose A times Q times X equals 10, which is the same as X oh, X transpose there, that's the transpose, times X transpose times D times X equals 10, which is the same as oh, whoops it's the same as X Y Z, if that's what X transpose X, what, X is X Y Z the diagonal matrix, which was what, was minus 1, minus 1, 5, I think? Yeah, because those are the eigenvalues. Okay, and here we have x, y, z vertically equals 10. So the whole thing, we just only have diagonal terms as we expect, and the diagonal terms are the, are the, are the terms where you square the x we square each, each variable by itself, so we end up with minus x squared minus y squared plus 5z squared equals 10. Uh, okay, so now we need to look at the... That's what the, that's what the equation is. Minus x squared minus y squared plus 5z equals... z squared equals 10. We now need to look at the table of quadratic surfaces and try to identify which one of these it is. So we've got two terms with minus and one sign with a plus, and then we've got a constant on the right that is positive. Okay, so are there any things here with two minuses? No, there are none here with two minuses. It's all written with, 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 the, with the only being one minus. So that means we should times throughout by a, this times throughout by a negative one. That'll help us identify things. So the equation's just like that. So now we want something with a mi one minus on the left and the constant on the right also being minus. So which terms have a constant being minus? Only one of them, just the hyperboloid of two sheets, right? Yeah. Okay, just the hyperboloid of two sheets, or maybe maybe the elliptic paraboloid if the C was negative. I, I can't remember if the C is allowed to be negative. Okay, but this hyperboloid of two sheets, that has two positive terms and a negative term. That's exactly what we have. Yes. Okay. Just... We have the a and the b being one, and the c, and like one over c squared being five, and oh, and no, let's make it a minus one. Let's make that minus ten into a minus one. So let's, now let's also just divide three by ten. So we have x squared over ten plus y squared over ten minus z squared over two equals minus one. Then remember these things are these a, b, and c were actually squared, so it becomes you know so it's like the the a is ten square of ten, the b is square of ten, the c is square of two. Cool. Um, so we just need to say it's a hyperboloid of one sheet. Sorry, it's a hyperboloid of two sheets. Okay. The question is, can you say anything more about it? It said, it said, identify it. It's a hyperbola of two sheets. And it's nice in that it's orientated the same as how this one is orientated, right? Hyperbola of two sheets where the cross, the Z, the, the, the Z constant cross section is an ellipse. Okay, so that means that, like, that's the Z axis, right? So that the cross section there is an ellipse. So it's a hyperboloid of, I can say it's a hyperboloid of two sheets. Um, I, we can say it's, what can you say about it? You can say, I'm trying to think about how to say which way it's oriented. Hyperboloid of two sheets, um, we, you know, where the sheets are separated by the xy plane. That'll, that, that, that says what it is. Hyperboloid of two sheets, the sheets separated by the xy plane. Um, so it's a hyperboloid of two sheets, okay? And we also know that the sheets are separated. Sorry, that's actually separated by the x y 
plane. Oh, but the xy plane is actually not the xy plane, is it? See, I'm not sure this all this detail is necessary. I think it's just defined to say it's hyperboloid. But the sheet is separated by the xy plane. But what is the xy plane actually? Um, it, because you see the, the, the big X, the, that's changed coordinates. And, and so the big X points in the direction of... The big X points in the direction of... So... Of the, of the first eigenvector and the big y points in the second eigenvector. So they're so actually separated by, to say that they're separated by the xy plane, it's to say that they're separated by the plane, the plane spanned by those two eigenvectors, um, which luckily you've named, i.e. plane, xy plane, oops, um, i.e. Oh, don't write x, y, plane. Then I can just say plane spanned by those two eigenvectors. By plane generated, generated by, I call them u and v, right? Yeah, I really call them u and v, the two first two eigenvectors. Okay, that's it. So I prepared two sheets. The two sheets, the way it's oriented is the sheets are separated by the, the plane, the UV plane. But there might be more detail than I actually wanted. Just saying hyperbola of two sheets might be enough. Okay, that's the end of the question, right? A, B, C, D, E.